closing remarks. I want to thank everyone for the opportunity uh, to be here. You stuck it out. So a round of applause for you all. Congratulations. Um, I also just wanted to uh, acknowledge my campaign manager, Winnie Liu, who is here. Winnie, if you could stand up. Thank you for uh, all your work. I am very proud of having a, a very diverse group of endorsements. I'm the only candidate who's been endorsed by people like Betty Yee, David Kakashiba, Gary Yee, school board member. I'm the only candidate who's been endorsed by uh, the Sierra Club, uh, the California Nurses Association, as well as the California Federation of Teachers. I think I have a broad coalition of support across the spectrum because I have a track record of getting things done. The thing that I hate the most is politicians who just talk, talk, talk. I hate that. I'm a man of action, and if you like me to Sacramento, I will work for you every single day. We have some really excellent candidates here today that are running for office, and, uh, but right now, we need somebody with experience who can roll up their sleeves and get down to business. I'm that candidate, I've done it before, and I want to do that for you in Sacramento every day. Thank you very much for the opportunity to do it. I would say thank you for having us here. I truly am running. Uh, I truly am running because I'm focused on bringing jobs here to this community. Dating back to 2008, this community has been ravaged by the economic crisis. We have high unemployment here. We also have high unemployment in the state of California. I believe that we as elected officials, community leaders, business leaders, and labor leaders have to come together on the issue of putting people back to work. As an elected official on the AC Transit Board, I have done just that, reallocating contracting dollars to put people in this community to work. If you believe in that, give me your vote to go to Sacramento because I'm going to be focused in on implementing policy to get this state working again to make sure that people are putting food on the table and paying property taxes and paying rent and supporting everything that's going on in this community. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Donald. I just want to thank everyone for being here tonight. It was exciting for me to have this opportunity to talk to all of you. I did want to recognize my mother, Cynthia Bonta, who is a founding member of APAPA and is here tonight. She's, she's worked, she worked with CC in Sacramento to help provide all the great resources that APAPA provides to, to the Asian American community. And uh, I've done my best to follow in her footsteps. It's been difficult, but uh, I was the president of the um, Alameda County Democratic uh, API Caucus and proud to have represented um, APIs who are looking to uh, take leadership positions in, in, in public office. Um, I would also be the first Filipino-American state legislator in the history of California. Never before has there been a Filipino-American assembly member, never before has there been a Filipino-American state senator. And Filipino-Americans are the second largest um, Asian-American community in the state of California and the fastest growing. The legislature is that body that's supposed to represent the full diversity of, uh, of its state. So. Um, it was an exciting opportunity here for the API community. Um, I, prou I was proud to serve with Filipino Advocates for Justice on their board, the Manila Town Heritage Foundation, and honored to have the API Legislative Caucus's endorsement in this race. And some of the great leaders um, in Sacramento, um, like, like Fiona Ma, and some locally as well, like, like Wilma Chan, uh, Alameda County Supervisor. So I think what I have to offer is uh, very strong social justice roots, which I referred to earlier um, from my, my parents' work with, with uh, United Farm Workers. I grew up going to demonstrations and protests and rallies uh, fighting for justice and, and asking for progress. And that battle continues and it needs to continue in Sacramento. I hope to bring a voice in the room of, of, uh, of, of the halls of Sacramento to, keep, to continue that fight. And I think that I offer the broadest um, uh, array of policy experience to this very important seat. So I want to thank you all for being here, and I would be honored to have your support. Thank you.